Today we're going to be talking about holsters for in the waistband carry. Yeah, there's so many different options mm -hmm. out there and I think a lot of new shooters don't really know where to get started. It can be like a really daunting task because mm -hmm. there's nylon holsters, there's leather holsters, there's kydex holsters, right. and you're looking at this packaging like, what gun do I have? What holster do I want to buy? Why would I want a different holster um, with all of these different materials? What's going to be most comfortable for me? Because there's so many options, it can be really overwhelming when it comes time to pick. So we have a few, yeah. <laughs> a few options laid out here. There is seriously a million options for holsters. So yeah. Narissa, you like to carry in the waistband yeah. primarily, right? My everyday carry is this Kydex holster. It's very secure and sturdy for my firearm. What I really like about Kydex holsters is they have really great retention. Yeah. You do have to make sure that you get the correct Kydex holster that is built for your firearm yeah. because otherwise you can have movement in it. But you can see here that this one's really secure. Yeah. Custom, so I love getting being able to custom order a holster is a great option to have for all of these firearms. What I like is this Ulti clip. So I'm going to show you just how I do my in the waistband carry. It snaps right to mm -hmm. my waistband and it's very secure. Um, I'm active, so when I'm out and about, it doesn't move, and I mm -hmm. like that. That was a really great option, and one of the things I like is that there's multiple Kydex holsters, mm -hmm. and I know you have another one here, Christy. Yeah, there's a bunch of holsters here, so this particular holster is an In the Waistband by Allen, and this one you can either use with a belt clip or this actually lifts out to where you can put it onto your jeans itself. So mm -hmm. I like that this has some option to it, whether you want to wear it with a belt or you can just slip it into your pants. So I don't always like to wear a belt, so having right. just a belt holster to me is like like, well, I tend to find more use out of a clip variety, but there are times where I wear a belt, so that's nice. The other thing I like about this holster is it has a retention strap around the back strap of the pistol, which is a kind of a swipe technology. So this is really quick and intuitive and easy to use when I want to access my firearm, but also just have that extra little security feature that a retention strap gives you in a soft holster like this. Yeah, I like that. Another really great option is a nylon holster. And this one, is ambidextrous, so you can actually take your clip and put it on the left or right hand side. But one of my personal favorites is that you have an extra mag holder here. I think it's really important that you carry an extra mag because you never know in a self-defense situation what you're gonna need. This crossbreed holster here has kind of a dynamic construction to it. So you have kydex in the front, but you also have leather backing in the in the back. So the part that touches your body is really soft on this, but it is it has a lot of retention with the actual holster itself because it is custom ordered for your actual firearm. So it is one of those tried and true, like you know it's going to be very secure for exactly what you're carrying, but it's also really comfortable to wear. Yeah. The other thing that's really nice about this particular holster is it is kind of more universal in use. You can run your belt through these um, segments right here, and then also you can wear it in the waistband just off the clips itself. So right. it does give you some versatility on how you're going to wear it and what application you might want to wear it with, whether you have a belt or not. So this particular construction gives this holster a lot more versatility because yeah. you can choose, do I have a belt on today? Well, I can still use my holster. I don't have to buy multiple holsters depending on if I'm wearing a belt or not. So that's really nice. Mm. I really like what you said about the leather against the body because my go-to holster every day has always been a leather holster. Mm -hmm. And I like it that it's comfortable to wear against my skin. Um, sometimes I struggle a little bit with the kydex when I'm bending over or if mm -hmm. I'm really active because I feel like it, it pokes into my body a little bit. So I love a good, well-broken-in leather holster. There are definitely pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. With leather, you don't have the same retention that you have with a Kydex holster. And also, one of the struggles that I have had with it in the past is if I am working out or sweating or in a warm situation, sometimes um, your body heat can rust your firearm. So you do have to be careful with that. And that's why for each of my firearms, I have multiple holsters for the same position. Mm -hmm. And I think that anyone who is investing in themselves and their self-defense mm -hmm. should have multiple options for each mm -hmm. firearm, depending on what they're doing that day. Yeah. 
The main thing I would encourage a new shooter that doesn't know, okay, how do I want to carry? What firearm do I want to carry? Am I going to be comfortable carrying inside the waistband? Find a group of like-minded women. Mm -hmm. Get training. Absolutely. A lot of times when you find a group that you can talk with, you can do like a little forum like we have now. Mm -hmm. You know, your friends will each show you what their firearm is, how they like to carry it. You can actually put their holster on your body, try it with their firearm without making the financial investment of purchasing one. Practice with it at the range together, draw from the holster, dry fire together. Get that group together and if there isn't one, create one. Right. And there's so many amazing organizations out there. The Well-Armed Woman, A Girl and a Gun, um, also Shoot Like a Girl. So many different organizations that you can get involved in across the United mm -hmm. States that have certified instructors that will really teach you the proper way to handle your firearm. Spending time with other like-minded people is not only great training, but it's gonna help you figure out what you like, right. how you want to carry, the firearm that's gonna be best for you, or in most of our cases, firearms, uh, plural. <laughs> Cause it seems like you can't just have one, like Definitely chocolate. <laughs> or chips, I think it's potato chips really, let's be honest. <laughs> so you guys get some training, yeah. find a group of women and get out there and see what works best for you.